Well, hello there and welcome to my Friday. Do you know, once a year, just after Christmas, I like to go to Asda with the sole purpose of hunting for bargains because sometimes you can pick up really good stuff. So I'm gonna go and do that now. I've got my trolley with me. Like whenever I let go of it, because it's so windy, it starts moving by itself, look at that. <laughs> Here we are, in the vlog before last, I was remarking that the trolleys had coins and, you know, they were stuck together and I don't think all Asdas did. Loads of people very helpfully said in the comments that they know loads of Asdas that don't have coins and in fact some people said they'd never known them to have coins. But this one doesn't, so there we are. These ones haven't got a handy hook for putting your shopping trolley on, but luckily I had a cunning plan. Oh look, this is just the start. Loads of it, it's got this sale written across the top, so I'm pretty excited. Tree toppers, 50p. I don't have a tree topper, but I don't like that. Bells are down to 50p. They look like pineapples. What are those? Those are 50p as well. Everything's 50p, pretty much. I stand corrected. Some of the baubles are different prices. Is that a piece of toast? Yes. 75 avocado toast 75p the toiletries 50 percent off look one pound for snow soak bath salts two pound for frozen bubble baths these christmas trees here are pretty much half price they were 45 now 22.50 the wreaths are about half price as well now 11 pounds i quite like this duvet set here for seven pound down from 10 pound but i just don't need any we have some these drink containers are down by two or three pounds nothing much really 75p off bowls so not huge amounts off there are bigger savings on the pots and pans though you get like eight pound off that that's down to 11 pound from 19 so that's a reasonable saving isn't it seven pound off that one these hand towels are now one pound 75 it's only 25p off but they're pretty cheap in the first place i actually need hand towels i keep having to use bath towels for hand towels so the time has come let's invest okay. i like things that don't match <laughs> i'm strange like that can we just agree how amazingly neatly that just landed given how i threw it i really like these ones they're so nice but i have bath towels so i'm not going to get them but i really like them oh these are quite big savings on the clippers here look cut your family's hair Save £12, down from £25 to £13. That's pretty good value, isn't it? They've got a while there, £9 now. Kind of lingered over these lady shavers. I thought I might get my teenage daughter one, but they take batteries, you know. They're not, like, plug in to recharge. So I think maybe she'd be better off with a rechargeable one. Going up. Whee! Oh, look at all that down there. That's quite a spectacular view. Wow, oh, they're going to some real savings now. Look at that, one pound down from 16 pound for those trousers. And what's this? One pound down from eight pound. I mean, it's not my style. These were 16 pounds, now they're three pounds. That denim jacket's down to a fiver from 22 quid. And these, I think they're quite nice actually, but not quite my style but they're down to three pound from 16. so many of the items on this rail are two or three pound massive savings oh no the trolley is slumped so much for putting it on the nice plastic sheet heading down please step off hey look in asda just normally they do cards for as little as 28 pence each just simple birthday cards. The gift wraps down to 75p. Do you know, I really like the avocado stuff. I might get that and put it in my storage for next Christmas. I wasn't going to, but I am now. Do you know, I could actually do this. £3.47 for a down the back of the radiator cleaner. And it's quite obscure. It's going to be sticking out of my trolley going home, isn't it? I'm not doing that well so far, am I, on my haul? I'm nearly at the end of the... Well, I think I've finished the end of the sale section now. I do need a couple of little things from the grocery section, though. I'm buying tofu. There's no price on it. I'm getting it anyway. Um, I wanted salmon for tonight's tea for everybody, but it's gone really expensive. It's at least £2 per portion, even with a multi-buy. Aha, cauldron sausages, they changed their packaging. That's why I couldn't find them. They're 275, but they'll last me about three days. Well, I don't remember what salmon cost in here before, but it's £4.40 now for two. And there's gonna be three of us eating, I think, so I had to get two, so £8.80. Ow, gooch. Tonight's tea, and I picked Izzy up some ham. Can't remember how much that was. I think it was £2.20 or something like that. Um, it was just too crowded to vlog. It's fortunately a bit less busy in the dairy aisle. There were literally crowds of people getting the meat before and um, I would have held them up for swimming, but that's, what's that, one pound? Yes. Well, it got a bit crowded again, but look, reduced to clear haul. Okay, jumbo vegan sausage roll, 41 pence. 
67p for sliced red Leicester British cheese. Quite big chunky packets, so I've got two of those obviously because cheese keeps. Chicken portion for my daughter, 31 pence to snack on. This looks fun, that was, it wasn't that cheap, £1.36, it was down from 2 20 It's like dumplingy things, heat them up in the microwave, eat them. Izzy's into Asian stuff, she'll find that interesting. And likewise, these were done to one twelve. something new to try, vegetable bowel buns, down from £2.08 to one twelve. And now, I'm going to grab some tagliatelle, because I want to create, recreate my Boxing Day dish for IB, you see, because he missed out on that, so hence me splashing out on the salmon. And I'll do that with the cream I've got left over in the house, plus the green veg that's left over. Oh, look, the macaroni cheeses are 60p. How can I not get them? Let's get two and put them in the fridge. Oh. Ugh. Ugh, one handed vlogging issues. Try not to squash the bow buns. The just roll cinnamon swirls were so delicious on Christmas Day that we're having them again tomorrow. Decided treating the family. I'm going to try some of this Fanta fruit twist uh, because they haven't got the one I want basically so why not let's try it now um, and let's put it down somewhere without squashing things impossible let me go there I'm just going to check out the bakery section oh I need some frozen blueberries and then I'm going to go home oh we're more happy £1.50 for the protein packed lentil cakes in my favourite I'm going to literally stock up because I have these for breakfast and a packet will last me quite a few days I'm going to get three because they're only like Getting sidetracked, I'm going to grab one of these big bags of corn mints for Mr. Oh, those are pieces. Well, it's still good value. I'm going to grab that and uh, put that home in my freezer. Last thing, £2.40 for blueberries. I'm just going to get one packet today. Well, I just about managed to fit it all in the trolley. IB scared me right at the checkout. I was just about to pay and he texted and he was saying, I'll see you in the morning at 10 o'clock. And I thought, what? He's not coming tonight after all. I'm just about to pay for the dinner. And he'd got his days mixed up. It's fine. It's coming. It's trying to rain. Rain clouds, as you see. But luckily, I have an umbrella. I've put, look, I've put that plastic bag that I bought to put the trolley on over the wrapping paper. So hopefully if it does rain, it doesn't get destroyed. Right, I'll see you at home. Just got in through the door. Glasses are trying to steam up already. <laughs> The heating isn't on actually. I haven't had my heating on all day. To be honest, it's not that cold. I need to now navigate across my front room and try not to get mud from the wheels on the floor. I'm just going to pick it up and lift it, I think. There was a very muddy patch right by Asda actually, and literally the wheels were sinking in. <laughs> if you think I'm looking a little rosy cheeked, that'll be the enormous hill that I just lugged that up hot and thirsty. So I'm going to put this lot away now, then I'm going to make myself a cup of tea and do a little bit of editing with this footage until it's time to get the dinner on. We are having tagliatelle. <laughs> We're having green veg as well. I'm going to boil the green veg. We've got a bit of cabbage there, some broccoli, I think it's all right, some green beans. Also some sprouts are left from Christmas. I'm going to fry the mushrooms in the green pepper with the salmon as well. But horror of horrors, I thought I had loads of cream left. I haven't. But luckily my boyfriend's come to the rescue and he's bought sub on the way here he stopped off at a shop he's due in 25 minutes so i better get cracking on i'm gonna put that away first because i don't want it to smell of fish oh and by the way i had to send my knickers back that i bought from amazon because they were totally the wrong style but it was really easy to do so i dropped them off on the way to asda today but i just didn't film that bit so just need to buy the proper ones again and hopefully the boxers come this time he's just turned up look i've got the greens on only just Pass it on, only just. I'm not timing things very well. I'm still chopping up pepper and mushrooms to put on, but he's brought cream. Yay! Whoa, look at that cream. It's like solid. Look, a spoon can stand up in it. Not even joking, it's extra thick. Waitrose. Okay, I'm serving up. There's IB's, a bit of fish, vegetable medley, etc. And there's mine. So I've got IB behind the camera. He's having a go with the new toy. What do you think, IB? Yeah. That's great. Oh, anyway, look, Amazon parcel. There was a very aggressive knock on the window, wasn't there? It terrified me, actually. I was glad IB was here because it sounded like somebody aggressive. Anyway, I had a thing from National Power the other day, an email saying, you're on the vulnerable priorities register. We're going to have some power cuts. Send us your phone number so we can let you know when they are. And I thought, oh, blimey. But anyway, I'd had a chat about the whole medication in the fridge situation and been advised to get... Not that, all those. 
But this, oh, it's small, isn't it? It's a medical grade cool bag, so I could take the injections out and put them in when I know there's gonna be a power cut and it should keep it cool for quite a few hours. It's designed for insulin, actually. And it comes, should come with two cool bags. Yes, there they are. So you put them in your freezer and when you know your power's gonna go off, then you assemble this thing and you should be able to keep your Injection pen's cool, that's the theory. I'm hoping it's gonna be big enough. If not, I'll buy another one. I was recommended to get it by the HealthNet people who provide Isabel with her medication. I'll leave a link in the description. And meanwhile, that's another digital thermometer because I was broke. And also, I did buy some batteries because I needed batteries and I wanted to make it up to 20 pounds so I could get free delivery. So that's why there's batteries in there as well. Ta -da! Dinner has been eaten. Look, do you remember the octopus that I got from Ikea for my daughter? She loved it, I knew she would. Oh, he's a sweetie, I love him. My boyfriend has made me a cup of tea, which I am now drinking. And we're just sort of having cosy chats on the sofa, aren't we? Except he's nodding off. He wants to have a little nap before we watch tea. It must be all that chewing of dinner, isn't it? Always worn him out. Anyway, so while he's sleeping, I'm gonna go and edit this vlog. Thank you so much for watching it. Please give it a like if you liked it. Subscribe down below to watch more videos from me and I'll see you in the next video. Bye.